application of thalamal electrode, uh, the determination of uh, the thalamal electrode is used to determine the single electrode potential of uh, any other electrode. So now I shall take the determination of single electrode potential using thalamal electrode. To determine the single electrode potential, electrode potential of say zinc electrode. I'll take zinc electrode okay, as an example. Zinc rod is dipped in a zinc sulfate solution. Zinc rod should be dipped in a zinc sulfate solution. Then it is disconnected. Connected to saturated, connected to a saturated thalamal to voltmeter. This is a construction of a cell. Okay, we may represent this cell like this: zinc, ZnSO4 double bar Cl minus bar Hg2 Cl2 bar Hg. Here it is a saturated solution. Okay. Pictorially it may be represented this way. I will take zinc metal the zinc metal it is dipped in a zinc sulfate solution. Then I use a thalamal electrode thalamal electrode so I take a glass vessel Here a mercury is placed. Below this mercury, mercury, mercurous chloride. And a simply aluminum wire is sealed onto a glass tube and inserted in the make. This is a glass tube. This is the top and this is connected by means of voltmeter. Here it is having a side vent tube and that is merged and here one side vent here we take a KCL solution. This whole thing is dipped in a beaker. Okay, this is the construction here is a zinc metal and this is sudden SO4 solution and this is a KCL a paste of mercury mercurous chloride Hg to Cl2 plus Hg and bottom portion is filled with the Hg so this way we will construct a cell then EMF is determined is determined how we determine the EMF by potentiometric method? So, metric. Then, once you find the EMF, so you know the very well uh, equation E cell equal to E cathode minus E anode. So, E cell can be written E naught saturated calomel electrode minus E naught Zn2 plus bar 
Zn. So I want to detect E naught Zn2 plus bar Zn. So I use one molar solution, then I should take a E naught. E naught is a Ce minus T cell, or we may represent 2.24 to 2 volt minus E cell gives electrode potential of zinc electrode. In this way, we can able to detect the electrode potential of any electrode by knowing the by knowing the value of E cell. Okay. If you know the value of E cell, you can able to detect E naught Zn2 plus bar Zn can be can be calculated. This method you can easily find the electrode potential of any other electrode. So here the electrode act as a anode. So that's why while uh, coupling the electrode, zinc electrode should be placed left side and the calomel electrode right side. Say if you take another electrode like if you want to detect the electrode potential of a copper, that time we have to uh, represent the electrodes like this or construct a electrode like this. So mercury uh, contact with mercurous chloride in turn contact with the chloride. So salt bridge. So cupric ion is in contact with the copper. That time the copper electrode is taken as a cathode and calomel electrode act as a anode. Okay. So depending upon the other electrode, the electrode, calomel electrode may act as anode or cathode uh, and thereby we can able to get the potential. Same method to detect the potential of the electrode.